I, Mamta Verma, Assistant Professor Commerce, welcomes you all in this session on mutual funds. Every individual in this world is engaged in one or the another type of economic activity, be it business, profession or employment. By performing that economic activity, in return, he gets some income. He divides that income into two parts, one which he spends and which is known as his expenditure and the other part which he saves. Now what he will do with his savings? Either he keeps it as it is or will invest it. If he keeps that savings as it is, it won't give him any return. Rather, it will lose its value over the period of time. But if he invests it, he will appreciate the value of his savings. Now, the question arises where he can invest his savings. If we ask anyone which are the basic avenues available he can think of, the answer may be assets, bank deposits, post office deposits or in some securities. But there are many other investment avenues which are available at his disposal. These can be real estate, cash equivalents, defensive instruments, stocks, growth instruments, money market instruments, commercial papers, commercial deposits, treasury bills, swaps, land, building, gold, bullion, PPF, NPS, shares, debentures, public deposits, insurance, bonds, NSC, other government securities, futures, options, forwards, repo, JDRs, ADRs, ideas and one of the avenue available among others are mutual funds so let's understand mutual fund the term mutual fund is made up of two words mutual and fund mutual means sharing by two or more persons to achieve some common objective and fund means collection of money for achieving or fulfilling some goal or objective. As we can see in the figure, there is investor A, B and others who are contributing money into a pool of fund. So what we understand by mutual funds? Mutual funds are pool of funds in which Investors pool their money with the fund manager who invests that money in different securities that can be shares, debentures, government bonds and any other type of securities. Then over the period of time those securities generates returns in the form of dividend, interest, etc. Then those returns are passed back to investors in the proportion of units in which they have contributed in the pool. I hope meaning of mutual funds is clear to all of you. Thank you. In our next session, we will be doing about the definition of mutual funds, its features, types of mutual funds, organization of mutual funds, facilities available to investors in mutual funds, benefits of mutual funds and limitations of mutual funds. Thank you for watching.